Greetings and welcome to another edition of The End Time Watchman. And the title of our program today is A Time of Great Terror is Coming. A Time of Great Terror is Coming. And this is uh, part three, our final part of this uh, mini-series, if you would want to call it that. And uh, we're talking about what is coming in the future. As we have been saying for the past two weeks, a lot of us, we uh, may wish we know what is going to happen in the future because nobody, no human being can see into the future. But we know someone who can, and that is the Almighty God. And He has revealed to us what is going to happen in His book, which we call the Bible. And in the book of Revelation, which we are reading from uh, for the past uh, three weeks, for the past uh, few weeks, uh, about uh, certain things that are going to happen in the near future and uh, a, great, a time of great terror is coming is one of those areas that we are covering in these uh, three uh, parts of this series Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 again reminds us for there will be greater anguish than at any time since the world began and it will never be so great again. So this is not going to be a nice time, an easy time, or a time that anybody would want to be living, but it is coming upon this whole entire world. Are you prepared for it, or are you prepared to escape it? We can escape this time, and I'll share more about that after uh, my final reading uh, to, to, uh, today. So we are, I'm going to be reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 11 today, uh, from verse uh, 15 to verse 19. This, uh, this is, of course, is the third uh, terror uh, in this series. Revelation, chapter 11, from verse 15 to 19. And I'll begin. It says, Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices shouting in heaven, The world has now become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. The, the 24 elders sitting on their thrones before God fell with their faces to the ground and worshipped him. And they said, we give thanks to you, Lord God, the Almighty, the one who is and who always was. For now you have assumed your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were filled with wrath, but now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants, the prophets, as well as your holy people and all who fear your name from the least to the greatest. It is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. Then in heaven, the temple of God was opened and the ark of his covenant could be seen inside the temple. Lightning flashed, thunder crashed and roared and there was an earthquake and a terrible hailstorm. And that marks the end of the reading and actually the end of that particular chapter, which uh, tells us about uh, the great terror, that, that's the, the seventh trumpet that was blown, revealing uh, the third terror that is coming. Um, to most uh, people in the world who of course are not followers of Jesus Christ who are not saved at that time this is going to be a very terrible thing to happen for God to assume his 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 great power and and to begin to reign but for those who are Christian it is a glorious time it's a time that we're looking forward to where we will one day get away from this world and from all the, the evil and bad things of this world and then we will go to reign with Christ for all eternity 
that is what we're looking forward to as Christians. As non-Christians, you have a lot to worry about. A time of great terror is coming, but you can escape this time. We have read for the past weeks, and this reading, of course, tells us that Jesus Christ is coming to reign in this world to take over rulership from the enemy. And those who are for him will enjoy that reign, but those who are against him will not because it is going to be a time of judgment. The word of God tells us here that it is, it is going to be a time to destroy all who has caused destruction on the earth. Let me remind you today that these things will happen. It is not a maybe, they will happen. It is, it has, it is written in the word of God in a book. It is a, a prophecy foretold and it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It doesn't matter if you want to believe it or not, your, your belief will not stop it. If you doubt it, it won't stop it. The fact will remain that God has spoken and whatever he says will happen, it will happen. These times are coming upon the entire world. But the warning is for you today is to be ready, is to get ready so that you can escape these things. In the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 he tells us, because you have obeyed my command to persevere, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. Okay, there is coming that time, but we can be protected from this great and terrible time. Surrender to Jesus today. Come and ask the Lord to save you. Recognize him for who he is. He is God, the son of the true and living God. He died for your sins so that you would not have to pay the penalty, so that you don't have to go through these things. All you need to do is to come to him and to surrender to him and to allow him to lead you on the right path. This invitation is open to one and all today. Anyone who is under the sound of my voice and you are not saved, you can receive salvation right at this very moment. Salvation is not a thing that money can buy. It is not something that we can work for and to earn. Salvation is a free gift from God because the price for it has already been paid so long ago by the man called Jesus Christ. All the debt has been paid. The hard work was, has already been done. Jesus did it all for you. Yes, you may be bad or you may have been a, a sinner for all your life, uh, but that does not change the fact that God loves you and loves you enough to send his one and only son to die in place of you. And that is exactly what Jesus did. And that is why you should not turn a deaf ear or blind eye to this invitation today to come to Jesus Christ. Acknowledge him for uh, who he is, for the great things he has done on our behalf. Come and accept him because all of us, we need this salvation. That is why it says in Romans chapter 3 verse 10, uh, as the scriptures say, no one is righteous, not even one. Why? Because verse 23 says, for everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. So we all, we need Jesus. And if we refuse to really come and surrender and accept the fact that he is who he is and he uh, and accept what he done for us then of course yes we will have to suffer the consequences romans chapter 6 verse 23 says for the wages of sin is death that is eternal separation from god but the free gift of god 
is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord so we can receive salvation today and uh, escape this punishment because again Jesus Christ he already went ahead of us and paid all the prices that need to be paid he did all the hard work so all we need to do is to open our hands and receive the free gift of salvation that is being offered and it is uh, nothing that is uh, complicated or anything of that sort uh, Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 simply says if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved that is all verse 10 says for it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved as I always say simply voice it believe it and you will receive it it is as easy as ABC 123 just come to Jesus Christ and surrender your all to him and you will receive salvation today it is an offer that is open and available to every single person in this world it doesn't matter who you are where you come from Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved everyone no one exempted Jesus Christ our shining light he came to shine the way and to let us know that in John chapter 12 verse 46 I have come as a light to shine in this dark world so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark surrender to Jesus Christ today now before it is too late as we come to the end of this program today I want to thank you for joining us and thank you for listening and I'll see you next time if there is a next time God wish to bless you and goodbye don't forget that to contact me for any reason, you can find me on Facebook by searching for Curtis Minister Roach. Minister Curtis Roach. Or our page, The End Time Watchman. Just leave me a message and I'll reply at my earliest. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and be blessed by the hundreds of videos available to you. Please feel free to share any video to help us spread the good news of Jesus Christ. You can also follow me on Twitter at Roach underscore Curtis. Should the Lord continue to tarry, see you next time. God bless. Yeah, it's coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind.